A super special shout out to my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yishika Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blaubia Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Stephen but I, I'm Ned Legacy Mod. So, yeah, last time we cleared this place out, I was really, really hoping this place would actually have us some. Um, uh, have as a working workbench because last time, well, at least in my stream, uh, it was the exact same map, guys. This is exactly the same map as my stream. Unfortunately, the stream had a work. Oh yes, had a working um, workbench, but this one had a broken one, and I was confused between this and joke mod because I was like, oh, we can just take a broken one and repair it. It's a little bit expensive. Nope, wrong mod completely. Ooh, I need to grab as many of these as possible. Thank you. I need to actually use this instead of this. So when it gets uh, dark inside of your eye, we put this uh, we put this one down in the stead of this one's place. And we'll be able to see in front of us a little bit better as well. It's down there. Old trash. Nice. Some uh, some water or some empty jars and stuff as well. Ooh, Wandering Horde. Hello. Hello. I need you guys. Come on. Here you go. Here you go. Nice. Can I get some XP from you guys? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, but I didn't even realize they were here. We still need to go and get all the gas from this gas station. We can get, make ourselves a Molotov as well. A Molotov will burn all of these zombies to death. So it's definitely going to be worth it. Hello, lady. Why are you lagging at the back of here? That's not nice of you. If I can get all of them in a nice, nice circle, perhaps jump in the car. And throw the grenade right on top of them. Oops. I was dumb, but I need to corral them over here. That was perfect. Some of them are going to be mad now, but that's okay. They just stay back for the mad ones. No mad ones. That's so big hard. Oh, you're, bad. you're mad. You're mad. Okay, so all we need to do is get some gas from this gas station or from this over here because they are gas barrels. And I think there's some gas at the trader as well. Nice. That hit so many. <laughs> if we can get all that gas, we can make ourselves some Molotovs and we'll be able to burn these hordes alive. Probably also do a single swing, but it does still hit all the zombies. I think some of these are really close. Ooh, got stuck in the car. That was not good just now. That was almost a death sentence. Stamina. We do have coffee on us. I should just drink some coffee. Oops. If I can just drink some coffee, we'll be fine. Okay, you're dead. You're almost dead. How did you not bleed to death? You had like one HP left. If I could just get back to the trader before 10, that would be awesome. But nice. Um, that's why I actually love carrying around the grenades with me, because we can get some kills done that way. That's a working vending machine, so I should probably mark that on the map. Oh, nice. Small fuel bricks. Guys, these fuel bricks help us uh, be able to go and burn stuff in the, uh, in the fires for way, 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 way longer. And then we just got six from that. That's awesome. Okay, so what I now need to do, I need to decide, do I want this on me? Or do I want this on me? Because this over here, we can actually fill up. Oh, that's empty. Please don't tell me there's a dog or something back here. We do have a pistol, but we don't really have any means other than that than fighting them. Okay, if we can get some gas barrels going quickly, uh, we can get some gas from that. When we see any other fuel pumps as well, we have to grab that gas. Unfortunately, you can't get any gas from vehicles. I uh, don't know why, but that is how it works. Um, I wonder how some people manage to get so much gas, they can fill up a whole vehicle. I mean, even the vehicles use quite a bit of gas. They use like 0, 0.0 something every time they use it, but they do still use quite a bit of gas. If I can figure out how they get that much gas, I'm guessing you can also go to like the other biomes and get more gas over there. Uh, but I'm not so sure. Okay, what we can do now... Um, where's those jars? We should have some empty jars on us. We do this. So I can do this and then see what has... It's a shame you have to have the water jar on you. It would be cool if I could just go and keep the lights on while I'm doing this. But unfortunately, you have to have the jars in your hands. Now, what else can I grab over here? Everything else I should probably just try and pick up and sell. And then also, this is a broken one. Unfortunately, yeah, you can't pick that up. That would have been cool if you could actually pick that up. Imagine being able to pick that up, taking it back to the base, and then at a chance when you have like a wrench, dismantle it over there. As I'm literally picking up every single piece of equipment in this place. The lamps, the lights, 
uh, tables, chairs, everything. Because you never know what you can actually take apart in the assembly station as soon as you have it. And also, you never know when you're going to need some of this stuff. Even this thing. Instead of breaking it and making noise, just pick it up. So you guys can see we have so much stuff on us and go and scrap it. I am going to have to take a stairway, unfortunately. Um, I'm hoping we get more of these bricks. Where are you? These. Ooh, nice. We already have 11. If we can get more of those bricks, it's going to help us tremendously. And then also, I need, I, every time I get a chance, I need to break doors and stuff. Because obviously, we get nails from them as well. I'm going to have to take some steroids now to be able to move around. It's almost 10 as well, so I should make all the noise that I can make now. Let's scrap that, that. Ooh, we have a better... Okay, I don't know if that one's been upgraded yet. And then steroids. Where are you again? Boom. Come on, move, 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 move. There you go. And I'm making so little progress over here because I'm so damn slow. But if we can pick up all of the stuff before nighttime, or most of the stuff before nighttime, it'll be set for a while. I'm literally going, and some of these things don't sell for much and don't scrap, so we'll see later if we can just drop them. And I mean, resources like this. Later when we have our mother load high enough, we can easily just go and put these down at the base and then mine them. We can mine them now for some cement, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it because there's just not enough in those. I wanted to go back to the trade, a trader and hand these in, but we're not going to make it in time, unfortunately. Do this. Almost night time, so any kind of breaking I need to do now. I think this is a gas barrel on the side as well, so I need to fill that up with a jerry can. Okay, now we have to be careful. It just turned night time. That's when most zombies start spawning in. Floor hammer. Yeah, we're going to need this. Bicycle wheel. We'll keep that for now. Yeah, unfortunately, now that it turned night time, we have to be so much more quiet. Because the zombies upstairs, anything we break right now is going to uh, draw their attention. So I need to get on the roof as soon as possible and then just close the hatch behind me and then we should be relatively safe. Okay, there's a zombie already attacking a wolf out there. There's no other way for them to get into me right now, right? If I can pick this up, how much does this sell for? This sells for six and you can't scrap it. See, I'm looking for stuff you can actually scrap as well. The more we can actually get, the more iron. We need scrap iron, but for that we need a wrench. So if I can get lucky and get a wrench over here, it's going to help us tremendously. Because with the wrench, we'll be able to wrench cars and then we'll get a ton of scrap iron from that. Oh, I want to be as quiet as possible. Every time I make noise like that, I'm trying to listen if a zombie spawn in or not. Because the slightest sound you make, the zombies come for you right now. If I can get all of this stuff picked up and destroyed and whatever, even the workstation, um, I'm guessing you should technically arrange it, but I want to see what happens if you actually break it. Although I don't know if I'm going to be able to break it in time before the zombies come in over here. Can you pick this up as well? No. Only some things or certain things you can actually pick up. If I can just get stuck on the roof, that's fine. Then the zombies don't have to come for us. We should still be able to jump because I can still move. It's still not over 200, so uh, the fact that we can move right now is a really good thing. If we couldn't move, we might have actually had a problem on our hands. See, this I think is supposed to wrench, so I'm going to leave that until we come back for the car. It doesn't make sense trying to destroy this now. And then we might not get all the resources for it that we could actually potentially get. Guys, if we can clear out every single POI like I'm doing right now, like completely just and utterly go and destroy the whole POI, that would help us so much. There's every single piece of thing. If we can get the assembly station going, or disassembly station, if we can get that going, we'll be able to get ourselves so much resources from all of the stuff we're taking apart right now. And now the problem is going to be getting back to the base because zombies, I think they only jog at night, but if I get a feral, I might have a problem. So what I need to do now is run back, but there might also be that dog over there. Um, I wonder if I should run down to the road, but that might also be bad. Okay, we're just going to... Aim straight for there, and hope for the best. I already looted all of this stuff, right? See, that looks faster than a jog. I'm hiccuping like crazy all of a sudden. But yeah, that looks faster than a jog, so we need to be careful as well. Some of these might actually be feral. I need to jump down without breaking my legs, and then book it straight. That is the electronics over there. We need to book it straight for the base over there. I wonder if he's going to pass the proper way so we can just get away. We need to go that direction. So now I'm just going to cut away. I'm going to make a little run for it. I'm going to see if we can't scrap a few things for more space. Can't scrap. See, only some things actually sell for a lot. These we can actually, if they can scrap, we will scrap them. But other than that, unfortunately, most of the stuff 
you can't scrap it all. You can only drop it or you can sell it. And these TVs, when we want the parts inside. Even the desks might actually have some parts inside. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just run straight to the base and I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, now there's a zombie above me. I've already put away everything that I could. I'm getting some small stones by getting all of this debris over here. And then we can actually make a mine by digging straight down. But now... This dude above me, just breaking this, is going to... Get his attention. The more small stones we can get right now, the better. I do need big stones, though. So in the morning, if we can see some big boulders outside, we need to go for those as well. Because what I did was, I'm actually keeping this one over here. Now the small stones are in the way just now. Uh, but yeah, I'm keeping this light over here. And then I'm keeping this one on me if I'm walking around. But if I want to uh, put this one down, I just swap around, put them down, and then put this one back over here. That way we can actually also see what's going on around us. I'm so confused as to why the zombie up top is not hearing me mine right now. I'm making quite a bit of noise. Breaking some stone of you. And I, I know I'm crouched and everything. I'm uh, downstairs. But if I was busy breaking blocks right now, this zombie would be on top of me. I think she just heard me. Now, unfortunately, she destroyed this just now, so we're going to have to do the same. If I can take care of the zombies through the block over here, that would be awesome. Damn, I put this over here just in case we needed to block them off, and now this backfired a bit. I can't see her. Please stay there. Please don't break this block over here. Crap, 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 crap. Don't break the block. Don't break the block. I need to repair this as soon as possible as well. I think you need a special repair tool for that, right? I need to also make sure that we can't perhaps upgrade this a little bit more. Okay, so it actually pays. I know it's a waste of these containers, but that's why I've been grabbing all the containers we've come across so far. If a zombie shows up and shows interest, all we have to do is put that container down and voila. Okay. I need to make sure we can upgrade these as well. That's why I'm getting all of these small stones right now. If I can get all of them to the same level as a shovel, we'll be able to get resources faster as well. Man, this is taking forever. I also want this bed over here. Now, if I destroy these, the bed's going to fall. I want the springs from the bed, so we're going to have to wait until we have a wrench for that. Unfortunately. If I can actually dig down over here quickly. Now, I'm just going to get these last two over here, and then I need to see if I can't on last three. And just see if I can't get some big stone by digging down a bit. Mining normal stone, guys, actually gives you the big stones. And we do need that for a few recipes. I think for some things upgrade, we actually need big stones and small stones. I just hope this zombie upstairs doesn't come for me while I'm downstairs over here. That's the big thing I'm worried about. But now it's so dark. Damn, it's super, super dark because we don't have the mining helmet lights. I'm actually thinking of just spawning one in. For what night, what I'm going to have to do is take all of the, uh, what do you call it, lanterns that we have and put it all around the board base just so we can see where the zombies are running and what they're doing. Especially since we know more or less how they're going to behave from the stream. We know more or less where to put the lights so we can actually have some light going over here. Okay, I might have to do this. Damn, the zombie's coming for us now. If I could just get a little bit of stone over here, that's all I want. See, that's large stone. We're getting large stone from normal stone like this. Okay, that zombie's gonna break too fast, so we should probably go back up there and quickly uh, deal with him. He's one of the bigger zombies, so he does block a lot more block damage than the lady. Uh, I have to do that. Oh, now we can't see anything over here. This is bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stamina. He's gonna break through over here. I don't have the stamina to face him. Come on. Please don't destroy this. Please don't destroy this. Please don't destroy this. As I know it's a little bit dark, you can't see all that well, but I can always also not see that well. You need to destroy him before he breaks this wall down. We do have a gun, but if I shoot him with a gun now, he's definitely gonna call his friends. I can't afford to miss like this. Every time I try and hit him with a power attack, he moves around. There you go. Now, while he's down, we just re-get our stamina over here. That's the nice thing about the coffee. 
Nice, it's almost morning. Almost morning. Come on, I just have to hold him off a little bit longer. I need to be careful as well because their arms reach through this better than I can. I'm gonna have to also uh, replace this block over here with bricks. There you go. Ooh, okay. So even with the coffee, it's not really helping that much. If I can get one or two more of here just quickly, then we might be able to get way more done. Okay, so I decided to go until we broke this one, but I want to show you guys a trick that you can actually do with your ladders. If you go and place your ladder every second block... Ooh, now I need to do this. If you go and place your ladder every second block, you don't have to place your ladder so often. Except for now, perhaps. But yeah, basically, this is a ladder, you skip a block. And this is a ladder, you skip a block. If I can keep doing that down... You can get in, uh, in and out of a hole really pretty easily by just doing this. So you don't have to place a ladder on every single block. Let me just jump up. Now we're off the ladder. So now we just start climbing the ladder. And even though there's a hole in between every single ladder over here, it allows you to climb up easily. That's just a pretty neat trick that I thought you guys might want to know. To save yourself some blocks and resources. Especially since it's a little bit grindy getting blocks. You want to make sure you don't lose blocks. Um, because you have to place blocks every single few blocks. Okay, we need to get to the trade and just really hand this in. I think we have everything else. I still want to take all this out and move my base to this side. Or just make my own base. Oh, I left my light downstairs. I'm going to have to quickly go fetch that. But let's just first see if we can't drop some stuff. Do that over there. There's nothing else over here, right? You guys just sort and it'll actually bring everything from downstairs. Otherwise, you have to go and scroll all the way down. But yeah, if you can quickly go and just repair all of this and upgrade them as well. That would be awesome. So repair. Upgrade. Upgrade. Now we just need a rope. If I can get it again, that's 90%. Do we have rope? We can actually make some rope over here. Rope. I think we only need one, right? Yes. See, I'm wasting the research data right now. But, oh, nice. Yes, that's a really good one. Even though it's a stone one, it's really good having this quality. Yeah, why can't I upgrade that for some reason? Oh, because it's uh, you first need to repair it. It's a little bit damaged. Okay, now we need resin. Oh, we ran out of resin. Damn. Oh, because I've just made a ton of ropes. That's why. Okay, so we just have to chop down one tree. We have to quickly go and hand this in. If I can make all of my stone tools this durability. Oh, man, that's going to be awesome. Okay, we are level or day four. What level are we? Mm, level four. Oh, we are gaining levels so slowly. Okay, food and water over here we need to fill up. My steroids are still running over here. But as soon as that runs out, I think we're going to have a little bit of a problem on our hands. What we do need is a cooking pot. As soon as we have that cooking pot, we can actually make ourselves some bacon and eggs. I think you actually need a cooking pot for that, right? Yeah, cooking pot required. Damn. If I can just get myself that cooking pot, that would be awesome. I don't know why. What did I just do? Oh, did I just waste my... Damn it. I hate... Sometimes I love shortcut keys, and other times I just despise them. If you accidentally end up clicking the wrong one, it does a really great disservice to you. Okay, so we need to fill up. That's 30%. That's about 60. That should us that should fill us all the way up. And then what's over here? I think I'm gonna have to put the lantern over here, and we'll only take that off our inventory when we really need to. This we do have a repair kit or two left for this one. If I can get this one green quality, guys, that's gonna be a massive game changer. Um I want to see if I can't quickly go and grab that lantern. Although, wait, there's a lantern over here, right? I know we have two over here. Um, I'm actually going to take this one. I know these are actually for our light, but since the one downstairs we're really actually using for, like, mining and stuff, we want to have this one on us. Okay, so now let's see what this trade has to, uh, has to offer. The nice thing is, during nighttime, there weren't really that many zombies over here. Oh, what I do need to do is see if I can't make a Molotov. Molotov. We should have all the resources for this. I just need to cut down a tree or two for some resin and stuff. Man, if I could get some Molotovs going right now. Ho, ho, ho. Especially when the Wandering Wall comes by. One Molotov should be enough to mostly kill them. Okay, on the pocket, we don't really need 792. I don't know when we're going to get that gun. Now, what if I shouldn't scrap this for the... Research data. Gas station? Yeah, let's go get some gas. Gas. <laughs> let's go get some gas over there. Ooh, can I get you? No, oh, you're part of the trade, aren't you? Damn it. Okay, and you don't have anything new. Ooh, if I could just buy that sword from him. But I think I'm going to save up on my cash and get myself a proper spear. As soon as the trader ever has a spear. 
Oh, a wrench, if one of them has a wrench. Don't you have a cooking pot, perhaps? I don't think I checked the first time. If we can get a cooking pot, that would save us so much time. How rude. And that's empty. Guys, this looks just damn awesome. This mecha suit over here. That alone already shows how much different this is than usual. Okay, we'll get another grenade. Uh, pipe bombs we could actually also use, but they take so long to explode. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. The rest of the stuff we don't really need right now. Perhaps some arrows. We need the iron arrows even. But yeah, I think it's going to be a waste to buy these right now. This costs 4.2. Certainly. Certainly. Sometimes this English is so proper. But yeah, what I need to do, this is now a ladder form. Thought I just heard something. Uh, basically, guys, to be safe, always do this when chopping down trees, whether it's this mod or normal mod. I just really want to chop down this tree and get some resin over here. Remember the very last shot you should do with a knife, and then you get more resin that way. Okay, so the last eight tier over here, you just go like so. And look at that resin spike at the bottom right. 13. 55 resin, just because I went and used the knife. That's such an awesome trick that I'll actually... I'm so glad you guys taught me that. Okay, so this bunny over here, we can kill some meat, but... I think you're going to be more of a threat than the bunny. If I can upgrade this to green, guys, even though it's a scrap um, baton, if I can then put a point into the batons... Ooh. Ooh, do we have any points we can spend? I'll probably check that as well. If we have some points we can spend, that's going to be awesome. Okay, so... Um, this we can scrap. I don't want one pocket. Although the pockets can actually help you carry more stuff. But for now, we don't need a pocket. We're going to have to make it anyways. Resources go over there. Farming goes over there. I need these research notes as much as possible because we're going to have to make ourselves schematics over here. So the furnace schematic, yeah, there you go. There's one furnace gone. Oh, we only have 65 left. If you know, we can now make a mechanics table or something. But we're going to have to go and um, scrap more of those papers. What I really need is a workbench, but I need a wrench first. And the crappy thing is... I get a first wrench, I start wrenching stuff, and then I have to use that wrench to get the schematic. So hopefully we can actually get that schematic before time. We do have to go and do that gas station, so hopefully we can get gas from over there with the jerry can. Ooh, which reminds me, Molotovs. I wonder how many you make with this, if you use a whole gasoline barrel. Okay, how many can I make? Seven. Yeah, let's do it. We're just going to uh, empty our jerry can over there, but that's fine. Okay, and then we have to put this down as soon as we can as well. The logs we don't have to carry around. 16 logs, nice. Okay, so we need these, that, that, and then I'm going to have to keep this on me, but what can I put if I put that upstairs? I need to have these Molotovs on me in case I need to use them when zombies attack. You don't want to all of a sudden take stuff off your belt or uh, go into your inventory and look around for stuff that you don't know where they exactly are. Guys, if we can just get this cooking pot, we will be set. Or get lucky and get a reward from the trade in the form of a mining helmet. That would be epic. Guys, I think there might actually be a cooking pot in this PR over here. But having to go check though, that's a problem. Because you just know in there is going to be a ton of tough zombies. Especially, I think last time we were there during the stream, we got like a cop or something full on our heads. So we definitely don't want to be in that situation. I, I think we already got this vehicle over here. Yeah, empty. Yeah, I can even go for an ambulance. I think an ambulance should also be able to carry quite a bit of stuff. We don't have to go for a van, but I do know that the van holds like a few tons. I think Subquake actually said the van actually holds like 1.2 tons or something like that. Uh, to give you an idea, a minibike can only hold 400 weight. So 1.2 tons, that's a lot. Okay, I think I'm going to first loot everything over here. Guys, I almost never do this in series. I first loot stuff and then accept the quest. But this mod being as grindy as it is, you want to make sure you get as much stuff as possible. And then accept your quest and then it's going to be a little bit easier. Especially gas. Gas is so hard to come by. If you quickly go and just get the jerry can and get the gas from these. Um, then it's going to be much easier getting gas all over. And I need this black van. 1.2k space. But I think it might actually be heavy on gas, I think. Okay, so do this, do this. Zero. Please don't let, don't let all of them be empty right now. That's going to suck. If I can fill up this jerry can, that's going to be awesome. That's zero. That's zero. See, these already being empty is bad. But if you do this and then accept the quest, then it's not going to be as empty. The problem is there is more gas barrels inside. 
But I don't want to wake up all the stuff uh, inside before I do this. So that's zero. I wonder if they're always, always the same. That's zero. That's, oh no, I think that one actually I had last time. Okay, so this time around we got unlucky, unfortunately. But we need to make sure we fill up this jerry can as much as possible. We can make molotovs. And we can also motorcycle engine. Ooh, that just pulled me up heavily. How much weight? Uh, 50 weight. Damn. Okay, these we need to scrap. As soon as they're scrapped, we'll be able to move a little bit faster. This doesn't sell for anything, so we can scrap that. I'm going to have to go and take my steroids, unfortunately. Even though we don't really need the steroids right now, that's a massive waste. Okay, now at least we can move around. Once again, let's just see if we can't loot these cars over here. Yeah, you can come for me. I'm more interested in looting these cars and perhaps getting some... Ooh, weapons and some ammo and stuff. If I can get lucky with a spear, guys, we just need a crappy quality steel spear. That's all. Then we'll be able to get some more stuff done over here. This wooden spear takes so long, especially on uh, worry difficulty. It takes so long killing zombies with a spear. As soon as those uh, dustbins are scrapped, it's, we're going to be able to move around so much easier. So that's why I said it's actually a waste that we had to use that just now. These, we can actually... I wonder if we can pick those up as well. I know it might just be easier going for vehicles. I mean, going for trees. But if we can go and pick these wooden pieces up and scrap them for just normal wood. No, you can't. I tried holding E on it, but I didn't want to interact at all just now. Okay, so we have to go inside, but first off... Let's just deal with this dude. I'm actually wishing that these zombies could actually uh, drop their mining helmet. Like, if you don't hit them on the head, there's more of a chance of you actually getting a helmet for yourself. We need the light. This dude almost looked feral with his red eyes. Okay, so there's a dustbin at the back as well. We're going to grab that before we go in. Another fat zombie on the side. I need to be careful of all the dogs and stuff. Ooh, scrap steel. Nice, not bad. There you go, and scrap. I'm really hoping we don't run into a dog. I do have that shotgun that I should actually go and use. It's repairable. It's repairable. Oh, this one actually has vultures up top, so I need to be careful over there. We don't want vultures coming for us right now. Although, if I can get the final stash of this place, you might actually get that steel spear. But I don't know if my luck's going to be that great. But okay, this thing's almost going to break, so we have to go inside... Ooh, also lootable. Hello, what are you going to give me? Water, nice. Okay, so, these we grab. Because we're going to be able to take them apart at the base. It's such a big shame that you can't do it with the blue one, unfortunately. But yeah, if we can get the shovel and the fire axe to green quality, guys. That's going to be awesome. I don't want to do the spear because it's just a wooden spear. It's going to be a waste. If I can get the steel spear and then upgrade that, that's going to be so much better. Okay, now where, oh where are you? There's a red dot around the corner over there. If you guys are inside of here, I'll just be able to snipe you quickly. But if you're not inside, I'm going to have a problem. Nice. If I can snipe all of these, it's going to save us so much time. There's only that one red dot over there. And I think then that's, this floor is clear. There's definitely going to be a zombie in there. Obviously, definitely have to just destroy this. Guys, be careful of these. You don't want to step on this and all of a sudden alert the whole building here. Yeah. Is that another nurse? And we didn't get our arrow back. That's bad. There's some coffee here though, so that's going to be good. There might be a zombie to my right, and you be careful. Especially if you see a zombie there, there might be one next to you. As soon as you fire that arrow, it starts hitting you. Nice. I'm going to loot this place later. I think for now what we should do is just focus on clearing this place like so. There shouldn't be any zombies in the roof. There might be some zombies over here in the bathrooms. The big problem is they spawn in so damn late. It sometimes it's very hard to tell where they are. Yeah, only that one spawns and that's a red dot. I have a feeling the ones behind us would have spawned in if they were there. Okay. So there's no zombie over here. There's no more zombies over here. Should probably use a spear because I'm breaking my best weapon right now. Trying to open stuff up. If we had a wrench, we could actually get some plates from there. That is so unfortunate. 
Whoops. I know there's definitely going to be a zombie in that room. Lots of time, if I'm not mistaken, there was as well. I'm just careful of dogs. There's a lady over there. Can I actually shoot past here? That's going to be awesome if I can. Right there. Oh, come on. Okay, she woke up. Just have to time it right so she walks into the baton. That sounds like such an excuse. <laughs> they just have to walk into the baton. It's not me hitting them. Okay, the other zombie fell out from over there, and we just have to do one more zombie on the roof. Let's just hope there's not too many vultures and stuff. It might even be dogs, so we need to be careful of that. If there's a dog over here, it might just be the end of us. At least we do have the pistol if we really, really need it to. Whoa. How did I miss that one? There's going to be another zombie behind that door over there. I need to make more arrows. I'm running out right now. Guys, this is warrior difficulty for those of you wondering. I'm just doing so much damage with that sneak. It's awesome. Okay, I'm just doing a cool episode here. If you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comment, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please rate hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Undead Legacy fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. If you join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.